Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. This is again another scheduled video. I'm not sure when it's going to come out sometime later this week, but I'm pre-recording this video. So we're going to be talking a bit about some Green Lantern teasers for Crisis. Also, we've got some news about who Stephen Amell is going to be playing in the crossover, some different versions, and also a massive returning character, that being Lois Lane. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, Please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about this Green Lantern stuff. So this comes from Cinema Blend, who are able to talk to David Ramsey at Comic Con. So when Ramsey was asked about if his fans would get to see more about Diggle as a father in season 8, he answered by saying this. Yes, he replied. And Diggle's relationship with his own father as well, there will be loose ends to tie up. The relationship between he and his sons, I think we're going to find out about. There is a lot in 10 episodes we'll be finding out about. And Lila is a pivotal piece in these upcoming 10 episodes. And then, ultimately, what happens with the Green Lantern mythos. So that's all going to be answered. I think all those are going to be answered in 10 episodes. Okay, so, talking about... You know, the Lila stuff first, because, you know, we're mainly focusing on the crossover, but Lila is going to be a pivotal piece in these upcoming episodes, obviously, probably to do with parenting as well. But Lila in the comics, Lila Michaels, is actually known as Harbinger. She is massive in Crisis. She is the one that sort of rounds up all of our heroes and gets them to work with the Monitor to fight the Anti-Monitor. So, that's massive, and I'm guessing they're going to do a version of Harbinger you know, in the form of Lila Michaels, but you know, not our specific version because she doesn't have powers or anything like that. She wouldn't know that Crisis is coming unless she was told because she's not this all-powerful being that you see in the comics. So I reckon they may find a way to incorporate that. But then he talks about the Green Lantern mythos. He says, and then ultimately what happens with the Green Lantern mythos? So it seems like he's confirmed Green Lantern's coming or there's going to be some sort of answer with the link between John Diggle and Jon Stewart in the comics, and, you know, the teaser that was teased at the end of last season, well, sort of in the middle, at the end of last crossover, I meant, with that version of Barry Allen, played by John Wesley Shipp, saying, oh, John, you don't have the ring, or something like that, right? So that was teased last crossover, and it seems like, yeah, we're going to be seeing that. That is absolutely shocking and amazing to see that he's actually referencing Green Lantern, so they've definitely talked about it. And so he thinks all of this information is going to be answered in those 10 episodes, because, you know, Arrow's only 10 episodes next season. And, you know, part of that is Crisis. Okay, so let's move on to talk about what Steven has been announced to be playing. So he's playing multiple characters in the crossover. I believe this was revealed at Comic-Con this weekend. And so I don't have any specific sources, but... He's going to be playing different versions of himself. If you saw the Arrow trailer for this season, it seems like you're going to be getting different Arrow versions of different characters coming. I think Oliver's recruiting these people. That's what I was talking to Paige about at Comic-Con. That's where we think it's going. So, will we see another version of himself being recruited by Oliver? And maybe Oliver plays the role of Harbinger, so maybe they don't do Lila. But maybe he plays the role of Harbinger, sort of going out, getting all these different people to build up to Crisis and obviously end the season for Arrow. So let's move on to the next bit. So what else was confirmed is Burt Ward is going to be appearing in the crossover. This is not to do with Arrow. This is just sometime in the crossover. So Burt Ward, if you don't know who Burt Ward is, he played Robin in the 1966 TV series of Batman. So that is some epic casting some epic legacy casting i love how the arrowverse shows do that and it's just so exciting because you know those shows are some of my favorite shows out there and you know i feel like you all have to go back if you love these shows yeah it's a bit more funny it's a bit more campy but it's such a great show so anyway but Bo is going to be coming back he's potentially going to be playing an older version of robin i think that would be very cool but most likely, more than not, he's going to be playing a completely different character. You know how Linda Carter sort of returned as a legacy casting in Supergirl, but she played the president, she wasn't Wonder Woman. So I think something like that may be going on, and that's very exciting to me. Okay, so let's move on to talk about the next piece of information, and this is some massive information. 
Lois Lane has been confirmed to return this crossover. Obviously, this follows that we are getting two versions of Superman. That was the news just before Comic-Con actually hit, and so that's crazy. And so with that, we've got Lois Lane returning, Elizabeth Tullock's playing her again. She did such an excellent job last crossover. I really, really love her. I hope she can stick around for, you know, all five episodes because I really liked her. She has been confirmed to return this crossover and she's going to be coming with a son. So we know that Lois Lane and Superman since last crossover, since Elseworlds, have been living on Argo City. That's where they left to go at the end of the crossover. So whilst they've been there, she's had a baby and you know she's that baby's part kryptonian and he's supposedly called john so john kent and so there's a version in the comics of jonathan kent he obviously that's a legacy name because you know jonathan kent is clark kent's father his earth father but anyway so there is a version in the comics with john kent being the son of clark and lois and so that's really exciting to see i don't know what big of a role he's going to be playing but obviously he's just going to be a small little kid unless they introduce the multiverse and you get to see a different version when he's older because in the comics in crisis we have lex luthor's son we know lex is in the crossover for sure john cry confirmed that this weekend at comic con so maybe instead of doing lex's child maybe it's superman's child who's going to be sort of a massive role in this maybe from another earth or you know he's older maybe he's time traveling or something like that so that is super exciting to hear that you know they are sort of exploring what they left off with at the end of the last crossover and i'm really excited to see elizabeth return as lois because like i said massive fan i thought she did an excellent job and so i guess we'll get some more information about what's going on with argo maybe we'll get a few references as towards kara's mum. And talking about Kara, this is going to be very exciting. I can't wait to see Kara's reaction. So Kara is going to be a cousin or like a second cousin. I don't know how it exactly works, but that's very exciting to see that, you know, Clark is finally getting a kid. We don't really see that that much, to be honest, in a lot of these superhero films, specifically to do with Superman. That's what I mean. But so I don't know what type of role Lois is going to be playing, but obviously is going to link in with Superman, and I have a theory that, you know, at least one of the versions of Superman is going to die instead of Supergirl, because in the comics there is the famous scene of one version of Superman holding Wonder Woman, one version of Superman holding Supergirl, they're both dead, and so I believe they're going to twist it, obviously not include Wonder Woman because they don't have the rights to do that, because, you know, the films are using Wonder Woman right now, but I believe... Brandon Ralph's version of Superman is going to die, and I reckon Tyler Hoechlin's version is pretty safe for now because he is the CW version, but Brandon Ralph's version is a Kingdom Come version, he's from the future in the comics, so I reckon he's going to be looking a bit older, and I reckon he's going to sacrifice himself instead of Supergirl dying, and so I think that's going to be a big twist, and I'm not sure how Lois Lane plays into that, but I reckon she's going to be popping up here and there. And like I said, there's many theories that we can talk about in regards to their son. But for now, we know there are going to be lots of characters popping in and out. As, you know, we've talked about in the past few videos, there's so many confirmations. We know Lex is coming. We know there's two Supermen. We've got Lois Lane. We've got Lois Lane's kid. We've got the Anti-Monitor. We've got the Monitor returning. You've got so many people we know. Most likely, more than not, wins returning and some various other characters. So there's going to be loads of characters popping in and out. And that is exactly what I want because that is what Crisis is like. There is so many characters. It is sort of uncountable how many characters there is. And they have the liability to kill off different versions of characters because they've already confirmed, you know, Steven's going to be playing different versions of himself, of Green Arrow. So maybe we get to see some of those die and then ours survives. Or there's going to be, you know, different versions of Superman. Maybe we get Power Girl or something like that. I reckon there's going to be lots of different versions that will be sacrificed. And our versions will pretty much for the most part all stay intact. So that is it for this video. So are you excited? Do you think Green Lantern is going to appear? Seems like David's definitely teasing it. Also, you're excited about Lois Lane returning and her bringing her song along. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.